Well, if man's best friend is the dog, dog's best friend is surely the fire hydrant. And we're talking about fire hydrants today on Steam Culture. So let's talk about modern fire hydrants. I've done a little research, and you can see from the graphics coming on the screen, there's two distinct varieties, a wet barrel and a dry barrel. So we'll talk about the wet barrel. The wet barrel means that there's water in the body of the fire hydrant, and there is a plug somewhere on the outlet that keeps the water in, and when you need the water out, you, you open the valve and, and let the water out. Well, they use a wet barrel fire hydrant where it's generally warm, Arizona, Florida, uh, anywhere where it doesn't really freeze. In the parts of the country that it does freeze, they have what's called a dry barrel, which means the plug and valve is down below the freeze line and there's a mechanism to open it so that the fire hydrant doesn't freeze. I think, I think, I just noticed this, this is a dry barrel because the connect, the opening is right here, it says open. So I think you open it here, I think that makes it a dry barrel. Here's the problem with that. Sometimes on a dry barrel, that valve that's in the ground, it breaks or the seal's not good and water gets up in it and they freeze. And this is a problem for firefighters. So the solution, I found online, there's the FDNY, the New York Fire Department's thawing unit. They have a portable high pressure steam generator in the back of a truck. They drive out to the fire hydrant, and from best I can tell, they have a wand. They'll open up the sides, and they'll shove this wand down in there, and they'll inject that high pressure steam. As you can see from the video, when it breaks loose, you're getting all the city water pressure coming out, and then they're good to go. They also use that system because other things get frozen like ladders, hose lines, and things like that. I don't know if this is completely accurate, but I also read, because my next thought was, why don't you just get a blowtorch? Well, apparently it's not great for the structure of the fire, to, the fire hydrant, but also if you heat this too rapidly, the ice inside uh, in certain pockets will start to melt and will flash into steam. Of course, it's gonna come out and someone could get hurt. So our favorite method, of course, is to use that high pressure steam that's in the steam thawing units. So hope you enjoyed all these pictures. If you Google steam thawing unit, New York or FDNY, you're gonna get all kinds of cool pictures. So hope you enjoyed that. I learned a little something today. I hope you did join me next Friday. We'll do it again.